What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how we can create a progress view and I'm going to be showing you how to create a determinate one and also an infinite one. So if we go ahead and run the program, you will notice the bar will start loading and at the point that it reaches 100% it will say done. And this is a determinate because we have a fixed amount that we want to get to and we can show the user that we're actually reaching that. But in case we don't really know how long it's going to take or what we're loading, we can go ahead and use the infinite progress view. So as you can see here, we have a small spinner that will just load forever and it has some text under it that can be customized however you like. So I'm going to be showing you how we can create both of those in Xcode using Swift UI. But as always, the first thing we want to do is hold Shift Command plus N to create a new project and we will be clicking on App and then we will click on Next. And inside here, we can give it any name we like. I'll just call it Hello Project and we will use Swift UI for the interface and Swift for the language. Then go ahead and click on Next. Specify a project location and click on Create. Inside here, we're going to go ahead and specify iPhone 13, and we're going to close both of the sidebars and minimize the preview window. And then we'll go ahead and click on Resume. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create a few variables. So we'll go ahead and type in at state private var show loading and that's going to be set to false because we want to toggle the infinite progress view and the determinate progress view and then we can go ahead and create another state variable private var and this will be the status so it will start off as downloading and then it will change to done as soon as it reaches 100 percent then let's go ahead and simulate that we have some data so at state private var data and this will just be set to 0.0, .0 megabytes and finally we want to create a timer because we want to simulate data being downloaded every fraction of a second so we need to create a timer that does this repetitively so timer dot publish and inside here we will specify every 0.1 seconds on the dot main thread in the common run loop mode dot common and we will call auto connect to make it work now we can go ahead and remove the text view and insert a V stack. And immediately under it, we're going to add a padding so it doesn't look so crushed. And the first thing I want to create is a toggle. So here we'll go ahead and type in toggle and this will allow the user to activate the infinite progress view or the determinate progress view. So here we'll type in infinite and is on will be set to show loading dot animation and we called dot animation because that just simplifies creating beautiful animations in case this view moves in some weird way. Next, we'll go ahead and add two spaces. So one here and one there. And inside there, we want to go ahead and create an if statement. So if show loading is true, we're going to show the infinite progress view. So progress view and to create an infinite progress view, all you need to do is supply the text you want to show. So as you can see, we didn't insert any numbers or anything. We're just showing it if the Boolean is true. So if we go ahead and run the program and click on showing, you'll see the loading progress view and it will load forever because it is infinite. Else we want to go ahead and show the determinate progress view. So progress view and inside here, we're going to specify the status as the name. And if we don't really insert anything else, it will also be infinite. That's why we need to go ahead and provide a value, which will be set to the data. And we need to provide a total, how much we want it to be set to. So we'll just provide 100. So that's up to 100 megabytes. But of course, this can be as much as you want. I'm just going to set it to 100 for now. And to specify that we want something to happen every 0.1 seconds, we have to go ahead and create an on receive listener. And inside here, we'll insert the timer and we'll open up a pair of brackets that say underscore in. And inside here, you insert the code that you want to happen every 0.1 seconds. So if the data is less than 100, then we're going to go ahead and increment the data. So plus equals, and we'll just simulate that it is a random chunk being downloaded by typing in double dot random in 
0 to 4 megabytes. So every 0.1 seconds, it's going to either grab a number between 0 and 4, and it's going to download it. Else, that means we've reached the end, and we can display that the status is set to done. So as you can see, it's already loading, and as soon as it reaches the end, it'll say done. So this is another way that you can create a progress view, and they both look really good. Of course, in iOS 15, if you want to change the color of the progress bar, all you have to do is go ahead and type in .tint and put in the color of your choice. But this only works for iOS 15 for now. As you can see, it will give us an error. And if you click on fix, it will give us a red progress bar. But with that being said, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.